Problem number 42, chapter 4, Roman Statistics, Textbook, College Physics. Let's go. So I've already got a picture here, but there's a person, that's my circular person, uh, hanging from a rope and being pulled by a firefighter like this. So here's a wall, and there's the rope going down, uh, rope pulling that way. 15 degrees, 10 degrees, find the tension in both ropes. Now, it's the same rope. Okay. I do want to point out something very important here in that it depends on how that rope is connected. If the rope passes through a loop, uh, a ring, then the, these two magnitudes would have to be the same. It have to be. But if the person's got tension or um, friction between the person and, and the rope, then that's not true. Or if it's two different ropes attached to two points. So in this case, they have to be two different tensions. I know the answer to that has to be true. Um, okay, so we know not much. It doesn't look like we could solve for these two, but we can. So let's draw our free body diagram that kind of gave us one right here anyway. I have the gravitational force Mg pulling down. I have T2 pulling that way. And then I have T1 pulling that way. So this is 10 degrees right here. And this is 15 degrees, right? So you'll notice, just a quick reminder, they give this angle right here. But these two lines are parallel, and we now have opposite angles of parallel lines. Remember that geometry stuff you took in eighth grade? No, I don't like this. Well, that's now you need it. That angle is the same, also 15 degrees. Here is a case. Remember, there are two kinds of problems. Either we know all the forces, find the acceleration, or we know the acceleration, find the forces. In this case, we know the acceleration, it says, motionless, at rest, and motionless. So the total acceleration is zero. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as two equations, F net X equals zero, F net Y equals there. The acceleration is zero in both the X and the Y direction. Now, which way is the X direction, which way is the Y direction, we didn't even say. I didn't even say. But in this case, it doesn't matter. You can pick whatever you want. And, and if you're not sure, it's best just to pick that as X and that as Y. Let's go ahead and write our net force in the x direction. So what force is acting in the x direction? Well, I have part of T2, and then I have part of T, uh, T1. So you'll notice here that if I draw those two, this is the adjacent side. That's the, uh, I'm sorry, the adjacent side. That's the opposite side because of the way the angles are. So be careful, don't say, oh, x is cosine. This happens to be often the case, but it's not always true. You have to draw your picture. So here I have uh, my force in the x direction. Let's write this as F net x is going to be T2 cosine of 10, right? Because that's going to be my adjacent side. So I'm going to look at the cosine, and it's positive because it's in the positive x direction. Now this one is going to be a negative x direction. It's pulling in the negative x direction, so it's minus T1 sine 15. It's sine because I have the opposite side. Okay. Can we solve this equation? Well, I know cosine, I know sine, but I have two variables I don't know. I have two unknowns. So that means I'm going to need two equations to solve for two unknowns. Well, fortunately, we have another equation. The y equation. So let's write down the forces in the y equation direction. F net y is going to be equal to uh, the y component of T2, which is T2 sine of 10. Right? Because the it's opposite side of that right triangle. What about the y component of T1? It's going to be plus in the positive y direction T1 cosine 15. Because it's the adjacent side. And then I have gravity minus M, G. But again, I know the mass, I know G, I don't know T1, I don't know T2, I don't know T2, I don't know T1. I have two equations, two unknowns. So let's take this and solve for T2. If I add T1 sine 15 to both sides, I get T2 cosine 10 equals T1 sine 15. Now let's divide by cosine of 10, and I get T2, T1, sine 
cosine of 15 divided by cosine of 10. That's just a number, right? This, these are just numbers. So let's just put that in as a number. I know that that's what people like. And I like to do what people like. So let's do 15 sine. And you could turn that into tangent if you want, but I already started. So no, you can't. Cosine. It's not the same angle. So 0.263. So now I have an expression for T2. I can take that and plug it into this equation, right? So let's, instead of writing T2 sine 10, I'm going to take T2 times uh, 0.263 times T1. So I'm going to write that all as a number by multiplying by sine of 10. So that gives me uh, 0 0.04. Five, six, T1. So that's this whole thing, right? Because I know it's that, I put in for T2, and I have sine of 10 times 0.263, I get that. And then over here, I have T1, I have cosine 15, is 0.966. And then I have minus G, let's put that as a number. Uh, 75, 76, 744.8. I, 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 I made a mistake. I made a, I made a planning mistake here. 744.8 equals zero. So now I only have one equation when I know, right? I can solve this for T. So I'm going to add these two together. Uh, I'm going to erase this down. At the back of that. Okay, I'm gonna put it up here. So right here, I'm gonna add these two, combine these two, so I get 0 0.0456.966 plus, and I get 1.01, 1 1.01 1 .01 T1, and then I have this I'm gonna add to the other side is equal to 744.8. T1, I can solve for that by dividing by 1.01, .01, which seems kind of small. Uh, 744.8, enter 1.01 .01 divided by, and I get 737.4. 737 737.4 newtons. So now I have one of the tensions. Now I can find the other one over here. Right, T2 is just 0.263 times T1, so I have that one too. T2 is 0.236 times that. And I get 193.9. Now, let me just tell you, at the beginning I said I know that the person's holding onto the rope. How did I know that? Well, if the magnitude of these two are the same, then these angles this angle right here would have to be the same as that angle. How do I know that? Well, because in the x direction, if these two tensions are the same, the only way for that to work would be for these two angles to be the same um, or complementary. Cosine of 15 and sine of uh, 875. Right? That's the only way that that equation would work in the y direction. They have to be at the same angle if they have the same magnitude. But in this case, they did not have the same magnitude because the person was holding on. But the key is once you get right down to the second law, you get to two equations, two unknowns, it's just a math problem right then. You just solve one for one variable, plug into the other equation, and solve for it. Was that fun?